This video demonstrates how to create an input-output table for a function using Desmos. So at desmos.com, I click on Graphing Calculator. I'm going to ignore the graphing part over here. I enter the function that I want to create the input-output table for, and I'm going to do it for a rational function. In the top, I have 9 plus 5x and quantity divided by, I just hit the forward slash bar to get divided by, parenthesis, 8 minus 3x in the denominator, close parenthesis. Now to create the input-output table for this function, I click on the next line in Desmos, click on this add item symbol, the plus sign, choose table. So x sub 1 are going to be our inputs, and our outputs will be y sub 1, but we want to enter our function here. So I'm going to click where the y sub 1 is and delete everything in the output column. Then I'll come up to our function and the first line, highlight only the expression, the, in this case the rational function expression, and do not highlight the y equals. Then I click either Command C or Control C to copy it. Click in the header for the output column and do Control V or Command V to paste. Now we get this little warning symbol because our input variable is not x, it's x sub 1. So we have to make every x in our function be an x sub 1 as well. So I'll click to the right of x and just type a 1 and it automatically goes into the subscript. Likewise for the x in the denominator, I click to the right of it, type a 1, and it automatically makes a subscript of 1. So now, let's say I want the input-output table and I want to start at 1 and increase by 1 until I get to 10. So in Desmos, I would type a 1, hit the down arrow key, type a, a 2, hit the down arrow key. I'm going to continue the pattern, type a 3, but now I'm not going to hit the down arrow key. After entering at least three inputs, you can just start hitting return or, or your enter button and Desmos will follow the pattern. So there's my input output table starting at one, increasing by one until I get to 10. But let's say that I wanted to start this table at 10 and increase the input values by increments of 10 until I get to 100. So I'm just going to start all over. It's kind of the fastest way. And I'll copy this expression again. Command C or Control C, depending which device you're using. Click in the next row. Click the Add Item button. Click Table. Delete the header in the Output column. Do Command V or Control V for Paste. And then since, again, since our input is X sub 1, Click to the right of x, type a 1 to get the subscript 1. Click to the right of the x in the bottom, type 1, and get the other x to have a subscript of 1 as well. So this time I want to start at 10, and I want to increase by increments of 10. So if I add 10, I get to 20. Add 10 again, I get to 30. But now that I've done this three times, I can start hitting Enter and Desmos will just follow the pattern for the input values. Okay, let's try one other trick here. I'm going to start over again, click in the next row, click on the Add Item button, click Table, delete the header in the output column, Command V or Control V to paste the expression. Again, since our input variable has a subscript of 1, we need a subscript of 1 here, so I click to the right of it and just type a 1. Click the right of this x and just type a 1. And now, let's say I want to start at 1, but I want to decrease by 0.1. So if I subtract 0.1 from 1, I get 0 0.9. If I decrease by Point 0.1 again, I get 0 0.8, and then I'm just going to hit enter instead of typing in the next item, which would be 0 0.7. I'm just going to hit enter and see if Desmos has the pattern, and it does. 
So I can just keep hitting enter and Desmos will now decrease by 0.1. Okay, that's it for now. Bye.